Okay, uh, in the previous video we have discussed that how this cube and triangle is moving and we have to render the system, we have to render and make the clear color depth buffers and create the translate the left into the screen and right to reset the model view matrix and to reset the model view matrix, the translation is right into the screen and render the cube color, render the parameters and update the position and up to each refresh, okay. So now in this video what we have to do, we have to we have to make some more changes. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to make some more changes and uh, we have to make the cube 2 uh, of the Java cube 1 of the Java cube 2 of the Java file and then we have to make some other two things. Okay, now uh, there are many ways to render cube. Uh, you could define all vertices of, of the uh, six faces in the above example. Uh, you could also define one representative face and render the face six times with the proper translation and rotation. Uh, first of all, we have to make the cube one or Java class and uh, we have to make the class of the cube one class, okay, and uh, we have to make the buffer of six spaces as it is we have done before, and uh, we have to we have to make the y rotation 90 degree about y axis and uh, rotate the another 90 degree about y axis and uh, rotate the left from bottom from top with the 180 degree, okay. So, and from as it is from the cube, we have to make another class of the cube too, and we have to make the uh, we should have to make the copy and paste of the code, and we have made the forward. We have to do this work. Uh, we have to do this work quickly. We have to Okay, you can review this code.
there is nothing changes but a little bit change uh, the word is n square we have to make the draw in the draw folder in the draw function we have to make the front we have to make the right uh, which rotate the 90 degree and we have to make the back for the rotate uh, other, another 90 degree about y axis and then the left and bottom for the 90 degree uh, y axis and the top of the dot 180 degree uh, about to x axis so here we can this is the code you can make the uh, copy and there and I will uh, make the description of this link. Okay, first of all, check it out. Okay, it work. Okay, let's try again. So all sides have different colors and each side have shown their own color and uh, this is the reason that the cube of this Java we can make Java make a cube in the code of Java. Okay. Also do with as a parameter for the we can also change the, this cube. We can also make some changes. We are copying this code. Paste. G. So this is another code which we have to make that another cube. You can see the code. Then we take the out of this code. The code is from here as it is, and here is the colors of the code. This is as it is. It is uh, we make a square. Maybe this as it is, we can also check this either change it as it is. The all thing is from the draw frame. Draw frame is actually this is the draw frame we are using shear 10. And here we can see the front face is clockwise. We can also change for anti clockwise. Uh, we can also change anti clockwise that is enable full cut. Uh, cut, cut the back face draw display. Oh, this is something uh, about for GL rendering. I don't know what is this. So this is another thing from the front. We are using the matrix. We are push the matrix. We make the function for the move. Push the matrix, and here we are translating the axis, y axis, and z axis. And here we is uh, where we there is a color of the colors. We are matrix. We are using 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. Okay. So there is uh, actually one, two, three, four. These are the four sides of the color. Okay. So each side is from the front. Each side is here and left side is here. There is a matrix. We are pushing the matrix and here is the rotation. Here is a translation from the left. Left is the rotate of the 250 degree to 70 of f 0.0 f 1.0 from z axis from here. So translating yes here rotation. The color we are here the color we are using the draw arrays and the pop matrix. Okay, push and pop. We have using that we have to push first and then we have to pop means that we have to uh, accept. We are making this in uh, the data structure or in uh, push and pop. So here you can check it out. First of all, we have I will 
slowly you can also make the pause the video and check this pause the video and you can also check the side and scroll okay so we have to reload the code okay this code is available in the website www.3.ntu.edu.sg and uh, you can also this is the website here you can visit the website and here this is the code I have to made a copy and paste from here okay So let's begin. So this is the very interesting cube, very amazing, very amazing. Okay, in the next video, we will check the texture of the cube uh, in Java. We will check the texture cube in Java and uh, we will check the other exception, uh, input stream, byte buffer, byte order, fold buffer, and uh, different code. We will make the different color in the cube. So, we will create the text boards actually. We make the different types of faces, different types of faces, different types of structures and uh, different colors. So the next example is 6 which is the texture here as a 6 uh, texture. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Love.